I am here with Dr. Lisa Shepard and two of her associates from the pink, I love that, Breast Center. Um, you have two locations, one in Hunterton. Tell us where your locations are. Uh, we're located in Patterson in Passaic County, and we have an office in Flemington and Hunterton County. Amazing. And you guys are winners tonight for Best Outpatient, right? Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> we're really proud to be here tonight. So, Doctor, you started this business how many years ago? Uh, we've been in business now 12 years. Wow. And we actually started in Patterson because there was no women's facilities in the sense that directed women's care for women and the turnaround time for black and Hispanic women and the poor women is six months to time of I have something wrong to the time of diagnosis which is ridiculously terrible and yeah. that's like you know that's that's just awful and we started in Patterson we were finding women with very large cancers and our turnaround time now is down to about two weeks oh. so that's a tremendous difference in improvement for welfare of the patients and for the women and um, I've always been drawn to the Hunterson County because it's my community. Okay. And so um, we've been in the community uh, originally as Women's Imaging Center on 31, which was in business for I guess almost 30 years. Wow. And then that was changed and then we became Pink and we're Pink Breast Center. Pink Breast Center has been formally in Hunterton now five, almost six years. Amazing. I love the fact that a lot of what you do is helping women that are normally underprivileged and and don't get the services that they need. I would imagine that if it's taking you many weeks to months to get the care that you need, that could be a, 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 a decent diagnosis to a bad diagnosis, right? Well, it makes a, uh, it for the women in Patterson in the in underserved community, and we do have underserved community in the Hunterdon County, and we serve those with our free mammogram days, which we run for the month of October, and we run the MASA for Mother's Day. Those are our treat the community days. When you are able to diagnose these when they're small. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily need chemotherapy or radiation, and the biopsy is technically a cure. And for women who don't have insurance, are illegal, or are the working poor with high deductible yeah. care, this is a tremendous improvement because they don't have the money to pay for radiation yeah. or for chemo. For the community that is the community that we care for in the Flemington community, one of the things that Pink offers is different is, is our office is much more sensitive to the survivor issues because we're we're all very um, pro-women in an intense way. Right. So from the time you enter Pink to the time we make a diagnosis, we usually run two, three days tops, and we can have women diagnosed the same day to the next day, and we're moving them on, and we actually quarterback getting them to the surgeon or the right oncologist, and we work with them for their insurance to get where they need to go. Mm -hmm. Because it really is hard. Because once you said, you know, you say to someone, "Hey, look, you know what? You had a bad mammogram," and a lot of facilities make you wait a week, two weeks, and then they call you back and say, "Hey, come on back. We're going to do something." And then they wait another two weeks, and your doctor calls you, and then it's been a month, and now you're terrified. I'm dying. You've already decided you're dying. I'm dying. <laughs> but you're not. That you're is not what it. happens at Pink, right. because we ride the train with you to diagnosis, yeah. and that's the difference. And we find cancers that are really small, and it makes a difference in care. It sounds like you have a unique take on um, health care and specifically health care for women and then to taking even further those that have been underserved. So I would imagine, you know, that getting a mammogram is a scary thing. Any of these things that we need to do to take care of ourselves preventatively might be scary to people. What would you say is the best line of defense for anybody? This is just, this is the, everyone has to stop listening to the media. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Listen, there is a conspiracy. It's a true conspiracy. These men and these insurance companies that are run by men don't want you to spend money. Half the population is women. If every woman got their mammogram like they're supposed to, they're spending too much money. So they came up with this incredible idea go every other year. No, you don't need one. Well, the truth is, is that we brought the diagnosis of cancer. So the 75% women were screened, we were finding cancer at less than a centimeter with cure rates for women were living 40 years. Right. So you didn't die of breast cancer like it was in 75, 85. Women died of breast cancer all the time. Right. The diagnosis, breast cancer equaled death. 
we did mammograms, we eliminated that, so then they could get away with saying statistically, well, we find it and it's less than a centimeter, it costs too much money, let's just wait. Why would they say that if it was a penile cancer? Right, right. So, and the other thing is women aren't aware that when they're saying get it every other year, the truth is by federal law, your screening mammogram is covered fully cash paid by insurance. Total no, bomb. no. Yay, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, I think I, the I bottom line. No deductible, which is a major big yeah. difference. A lot of people think they're going to have to pay for it because they said it's every other year. They just recently renewed the bill for the next 10 years. Use your benefits. Use it or lose it. Get your mammogram. Yep. Bottom line, take care of yourself. And women, take care of women. And it seems like that's what you guys do at Pink, for sure. That's Pink's motto. Amazing. Well, congratulations on your win. I love that we've brought the message out there for ladies to take care of themselves and take care of each other. That is what it's all about. Thank you guys so much, and congratulations again. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.